look over there. Oh. Listen, listen to the room. You should kill one of your cats on a podcast. You do that. Don't kill cats. There's a whole documentary on it. Yeah. Well. Well. There is. They really didn't get the real guy. It was me. I've been doing it. Uh, Hello, everybody. Corey's dying. Uh, already. Restart. Did you start? Are you starting? I don't know. I just wanted to do that. Oh, okay. It's fine. Hold on. I gotta pull. This down is our ninth head. take, by I'm, the way. We've, I'm crammed. I'm crammed in the nut area. We keep starting it, and then we gotta change, swap each other's underwear. Because one of us is uncomfortable. One of us has lucky underwear, and the other one is not as lucky. And we have to decide who needs most luck. And then we try it on, and then we we sit there and... How does it feel? How does it feel? You do feel you like feel getting, luckier, you or feel like do I getting... feel luckier? Because sometimes it changes once you switch the underwear. Yeah. Sometimes we have other pairs that we have to bring. You start, the... you start smelling the other guy's scent of his underwear... No, and then, it's not about the sense; it's about the feel. That makes the other guy lucky, because now you're on to him. Sometimes you got some, sometimes you got some streaks. Sometimes you got some crusty. Did I've crusty pre? I've uh, I've heard people talk about streaks, and that has not been. I mean, unless I unless it's a few times where I've just straight up like crap myself. Yeah, I get it like a few times a week, right? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think it's people make it seem like it's pretty normal, but I'm like, who's like walking around with just they got like shit on their ass? <laughs> or like that's when, how that happens. Or when people you talk about shit on your farting ass. holes into their underwear, I'm like, what do you fart a knife out of your ass? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just get a whole <laughs> like ar- a, artillery. I don't understand. I've never understood how you fart a hole. Like, here, look. This is first this off, is, you'd have to have zero. So ass let, let's see. Hold on. Your shirt is made. Of fabric, right? And your underwear is made of fabric. This is what's potentially happening. That's How is that going to put a hole in anything? Uh, if you're swallowing knives. Unless you're just, oh, I got, I got sharp shits and they shoot out of my <laughs> ass. Those are real too. Sometimes you're taking a crap and it, oh, it hurts. Yeah. What did I? What, what is that? What did I? What did I eat? A weed whacker? That's the uh, yeah, an entire weed wagger that comes out on. What did I? What did I eat? A razor blade? What did I eat? One of those? One of those apples that have the razor blades in them on Halloween? Yeah, what did I eat? A burrito with a razor blade? How? What did I you eat know they always said like that was like a thing going around like Hall- Halloween you're gonna have razor blades in your apples and it's like anthrax in your I would Reese's. be. A, have you ever cut a hole in an apple or a slit? You would see it. What are we doing? Maybe you wouldn't see it. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not Dr. Fauci. I don't know anything. It's probably one story where a kid, you know, is maybe trying the, to cut maybe himself. The, maybe the scientists don't know what they're talking about. Uh, maybe the scientists don't know. Maybe I'm gay. Dude, I'm, what would you do I'm gay. if you found out Trump was gay? Welcome to America. Would you vote for him? Uh, he... He'd get even more votes. He's going to win, by the way, but he's going to get yeah, more votes. He might not. Who knows? Um, so, I think I have uh, news. Oh, all right. I'm pregnant. Just kidding. That's cool. I'm not pregnant. I'm hungry, though. I wish I was pregnant with a food baby. You know how they say that? Ugh, I got a food baby. So you just ate food, and it makes you pregnant? You fucking idiot. It's pregnant. I just get pissed. I'm gonna, you know, let's well, talk about food, every every dumb, baby. every like, dumb thing. I like talking crap about dumb sayings. Every and every stuff. saying that people say, where I go, oh my god, like uh, I just talked about something that I hated. Now I can't think about it. Um, oh man, you got, you got a filibuster, filibuster of the time. Well, well, uh, well. Back when I was young, my mom would watch Little House on the Prairie, and I was like, man. You know what I always think about, actually? Tell me. How were people not getting pregnant left and right back in the day? Because, I mean, clearly, you're just, yeah. everyone's shooting loads and everyone. Uh, maybe I mean, always having a baby. 
Like the pull out game attribute was through the roof. No, you think they, they knew no about one, that no, though? No like, was, like, oh, I gotta no, make sure I shoot this cream somewhere else. Nobody was doing that. They no. were maybe everyone was having babies. Spouting like the baby boomers. That is, you know, that's why they called them boomers. That's oh, there's something I hate. I wonder how everyone differentiates. Oh. Okay, boomer. Our our fucking generation is this, and we're the best. Well, our generation thinks your generation sucks, and we're the best. And it's like, I mean, we're all we're all pretty shitty. People aren't even using it correctly. Like if I talk about some uh, '67 Chevy I like, and uh, with like an ACDC shirt on or something, someone's like, huh, "Look at this boomer." It's yeah. like I'm a, or I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm a millennial. <laughs> everyone referred to like every bad, like all the young people are just millennials. I'm like, that's all fucking millennials. I'm like that. You know, millennials start. It's like the date of a millennial starts way further back than like some people that say it are like, I'm like, you're a millennial. I don't understand. Yeah, they just turned what into we, something else. What are we else, doing? You know? Clearly, millennials are the best because I'm in that group. Um, what up? What was it saying that you just said though? What did I, I say? I was trying to remember the one that you just said already. You were like. When someone says, "Uh oh, welcome to the retardation zone." Um, bah, bah, a sign pops up, bah, retardation zone. Ret- um, we can say whatever we want. But, um, <laughs> we're not pussies. Who's gonna listen to it? Uh, the government. Who, oh, three, of gonna, our, three of our three of friends our pussy will... friends. Uh oh, you can't say that. What are they gonna do? Nothing. They're Amen. Just gonna, they're probably just all gonna talk. Sh- Hold on. No, no, this is what's gonna happen. Okay. No, I'm pissed. This is what they're gonna do. They're gonna talk shit amongst each other, talking shit about us. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking stupid. They don't know what they're talking about. Probably, I don't know. I'm just assuming they probably don't do that. They're all nice people, and I'm just projecting my own yeah. insecurities on other people. But no, I'm already in. I'm already in That's the okay. trenches with this. Everyone does that. Also, I can say yeah. retard if I want to, because guess what? Yeah. No retards listen to this, and if they did, they're too retarded to know. <laughs> to oh. I'm getting and, going today, baby. And and uh, another thing. I don't know. I don't know. And another thing. I'm voting for Trump. And another thing. I just think it's funny to say. Um. What were we talking about? What did I? Oh yeah. What did I say? You said somebody said some dumb saying. You know. Anyone listening could easily hit fifteen and then t- yeah, they're just going, and they're us. screaming at us. You said. You said this. You said cock blocking. Um. Now what did I say? What are we doing with our lives? All yeah, right, Randolph, party. run it back. We got a new producer. His name's Randolph. Run it back, Randolph. Tell me, tell me what I said. My nose is really itchy, guys. So I was. Oh. It was pointed out oh, by our by my co-host here oh, that boy. we did a lot of sniffles in the last episode. So I'm gonna try not to do that. But no but one my, else tells me this stuff. I just mm-hmm. listen and then I I'm like self conscious. Oh, I gotta do stuff. it. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to do it I because like my nose it. is all... I have hairs everywhere. Yeah, I feel like... And I just go in my nose. I even, dude, I got to the point where I was listening to an episode where I felt like I had this driest mouth and I was going... I Dude, I had an episode like where I, had, I felt like I had the driest ass. And I was like, someone lube me and stick me. You were just like, man, Chris needs to start talking about some more interesting yeah. shit to what get if, me going. What if that happened, guys? His ass got wet. Because they're like... Like gay uh, or gay guys, like if you were gay, gay you knew you I, were. Hey, I'm not kidding. I think there is a little bit. I have a new plan. There is like a little bit of nope. something that happens. You don't know anything. <laughs> okay, but I do, and All this right. is it. If you're gay, this is how you know you're gay. Your ass gets wet when you get horny. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but then straight guys <laughs> like it up the ass too. Yeah, plenty of guys. So. Like a, at least a thumb or a plug, right, or something. Yeah. yeah. I, I've heard. I don't know. I don't. You know, sometimes I take a huge shit and it feels good. So I'm like, maybe the reverse of this. Maybe if I sucked this shit back up, I'd go. Yeah, some craps feel amazing. So yeah, if I dude. could just have dicks pulled out of my ass. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I think we're onto could, something. <laughs> hold on, yeah. If someone could fuck me from the inside of my body, <laughs> someone fuck my ass from the inside. That feels great. These are what but the just top, constantly going out. These are what the someone signs needs to feed the tube. And yeah. Just, Okay. Just, someone surgically in and just pull have it. a tube. It goes into my stomach through all my intestines. Yeah. And then at the end of the tube is a little like, you know, how they have like the, uh, like I don't know, it's collapsible things. You know, a collapsible, collapsible dildo. So when it this gets right to the <laughs> right to the rectum, it just goes, <laughs> and then you're just going like this. Ah, uh, see, yeah. I just don't want the end part. 
Yeah. Because my dad told me that's not correct. So. I don't want the end part because my dad did it to me, and I <laughs> yeah. once said it was I got correct. PTSD, you know. Yeah. Man, there's plenty of people that their dad. I did just it don't to want the end part because the because Jesus told me that being gay is gay, and you don't want to be gay. And I told him, "Fucking, you suck your own cock, bitch. Oh, you can't because you're on a cross." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking nerd. He can't, can't even touch his own. He probably jacks yeah. himself out with his hands. He goes like this, <laughs> with the holes in his yeah. hands. Uses the blood as nice. lubrication. Whatever new fans we got recently who maybe didn't know about this possible stuff talked about, they're you know they're liking it. They're into they it. probably they're probably already left because I said retard. <gasps> oh, I'm hurt. Oh, you're hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. Leap. Now, if I actually, if you're actually hurt, I'm sorry. Oh, I was gonna say this. But if you're earlier, not, so when you were talking about the, uh, yeah, when you did talk about, you know, the uh, the R word and retard and stuff, you were like the R word. Um, I'm bringing in a new guy. I'm bringing in a. I'm bringing in a <laughs> neo Nazi because they'll say it. Yeah, get Gavin McGinnis in here. And there we go. He can do the pod. Um. No, so, uh, Glenn. Greenwald was just on Rogan's podcast, and um, he talked about pretty much like kind of what you were saying. Like maybe we have some friends who would listen to our, an episode of ours and be like, uh, you know, say to themselves or uh, or whatever. Like it's sort of connected because like Glenn Greenwald is a journalist. He was one who was like connected pretty uh, tight with Snowden when a bunch of his whistleblowing stuff came out against like you know showing about america um spying on all of its citizens and all the whole pretty much the whole world and doing all that stuff it's like a bunch of it's good but america americans government or america's government none of them like we're not cool well they're not we are but like america u.s government is not cool with snowden like yeah. he can't come back here and all this stuff but i was just saying that because glenn greenwald um popular journalist even more more so now but he said he has talked to other journalists and they have just you know asked questions because they don't know about like certain trans things and like and their opinions on like um yeah maybe maybe a 12 year old shouldn't start um taking hormones or maybe a 12 year old shouldn't get their bo the boobs that aren't even maybe fully even developed get them removed already because they're, they're transitioning or whatever's going on. He said this was an off. So he was talking to these guys who work for like New York Times, Washington Post and stuff. And he, he goes, these guys would never um, talk about this on actual, on like the things that they blog about because they're just left and they would never ask any of these questions in the discussion that they had off uh, blogs and off articles. But because you would see, be seen as like, really insensitive talking about but like a lot of things is like we don't get anywhere if nobody asks yes. a question if nobody right. you know like my dad had no idea about trans stuff until my uh born sister trans brother now like talks about some stuff and and he's randy quaid who's that actor uh, dennis quaid's brother <laughs> i don't know I just name popped in my head. Oh, okay. That would be funny if I just made a joke that your trans brother is Randy Quaid, and people oh. would be like, "Whoa, I didn't know." Yeah, stepbrother. Um, sorry. He uh, but like, and then I'm sure my dad talked a bit and and started to ask questions, and and the rest of my family, or Crucified some of the, him. some of the left left people in the family, or whatever the hell you want, like didn't just yeah, didn't just shun him and stuff like you would see on a tweet like if if i tweeted asking some questions about some stuff it'd be like i can't believe you even thought that this was yeah. a and it's just like well yeah if you're like a famous nobody person. can even grow you know how many people don't use twitter don't use instagram they they uh you know they, they use facebook yeah they probably use facebook. they're old but there's a bunch of people who don't they're not up on this stuff so so many things are changing in like how we speak and certain things and then, I don't know, then someone finally starts a Twitter and they ask one question and they get crucified and whatever. 
Um, I like that. How do we get on this? Um, oh wait, like the, saying retard and stuff, and, and like having like your oh, friends yeah. talk shit about you. So he was saying like he is uh, one. Yeah, okay. He's a journalist who has always been just very open and asked, and he's all he's. That's why a lot of people like him. I didn't even know too. He's he has a husband. Yeah, I didn't even know that. He said that like wait a second about three hours into this podcast. He, um, that's cool. I didn't know that either. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I knew his connection to Snowden and all that stuff, but I had no idea about that. Yeah. But he has always been pretty. He's just critical of everything, as like, you like, should be. Yeah, which as you should be. So that's. Hey, he just. Uh, I just saw something that he just quit. I don't know. I don't really want to get delve into this, but just saw something that he quit his, whatever, uh, like whatever he like thing you worked for whatever like news like magazine or something whatever he worked for like i don't i didn't really like know what it was but he quit it because they told him to take out all this stuff like he wrote like whatever article and they said okay yeah just take out everything that's critical of biden and then he's like well, to, to glenn yeah and he goes yeah. okay well i'm gonna quit because oh, so that that was that was a big part of oh was it yeah yeah well they talked about some of that stuff sheesh lagish well we just got serious, folks. But sorry no. about that. Um, maybe you're. Uh, I'm about to say the f word in a little bit. Oh Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, wait till the 50 minute mark. We got a lot of a lot of things. We to got say. an f surprise. We got a couple f's. Um, uh, a couple of beeps. Can you, beep. can you guys see the cat in the video? You know, we got way more audio listeners than video. Can you see my? You see my nuts? Um, do you want to? Uh, no, I, I like that you were mentioning a phrase, you know, fucking 12 minutes ago, like a saying that someone said, because I actually, like, was curious about something. So, I'm a list of sayings. Well, one I heard on a, on a pod, I heard someone saying, uh, squeaky wheel gets the grease. Uh, I've never heard that. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really, I don't, I think I don't. Hey now, squeak it. wheel gets the breeze now. Yeah, so like. What did know. I say earlier? So, so <laughs> I will never get it. So someone, you know, some sayings are cool. Um, oh, the food baby thing. Oh yeah, food baby. It all Got comes it. back to me when I look inside <laughs> internally. Hello. Well, now that we figured that out, we're gonna end. We're gonna end early and head out. See you guys. Yeah. Took a down and down and down. This Shut is the end song. Getting out of our chairs and walking with their podcast equipment outside. Walking no outside. Way. It's cold outside. It's cold. It's cold. That's, nobody knows that joke. Yeah. Boom. Um. What about what about beat around the man. bush? Mm. Hey, uh, why don't you? Hey, don't I, beat around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. Tell me. Just be straight up with me. Don't beat around the bush. Tell me, is my cock small or not? Don't beat around my bush. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, first date. Don't chick. beat around my bush. Beat me off. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're talking to the chick like everything was going amazing. Yeah. The whole night was going great. You were charming. You said all the right things. She's like, man, this guy's great. You know, um, this guy's cool. I'm not even gonna kick him out after tonight. You know, you know. You can stay here. I don't give a shit. This guy's been really chill. He seems normal. He seems pretty cool. He's got a good head on his shoulders. That's another saying, head on his shoulders. How can you have a bad head on your shoulders? Um, um, retarded people. That again. I, this is great. Um, I'm having fun. Hey, how, <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> I'm having fun. Disclaimer for anyone who uh, maybe uh, maybe doesn't know about this. I I like almost have... Alcohol fetal syndrome. So, Almost. yeah, I, you know, I worked with a guy at Roush who this guy, uh, he would say all this crazy stuff, and then he would tell me, "No, nah, no, nah, man, Chris, uh, you're cool. Like, you can say, you can say the N word." And I would Ooh. just be like, "Okay," and then I would say it on. Try put out there. He was also black. Oh yeah, it's black. It wasn't dude. a white guy. Yeah, it wasn't just a white Chris, dude with the Confederate Chris, tattoo. You can say you it. could say it. I say it all the time. <laughs> but I'm in a van delivering. Uh, drugs. I'm in a van delivering car parts with these guys nice. uh, that we stole, and these guys were like, um, "No, nah, man, Chris, you could say it. like the loudest guy is this kid Aaron. He, he was uh, he was really like, loud, 
And he's like, you can say it, man. And I was just like, no. No. And then he's You're like, come not- on. And then I'm looking at some uh, this other guy, Greg, and he's like in the front seat and just. Because he knows, he's like, don't fall for this stupid yeah. shit. This is stupid. <laughs> but um, saying that, though, so he gave me the card. The card? That's the wrong thing. He gave me the He was telling me, hey, man. He was giving you the paperwork. He was giving me the paperwork. You look it. If another black guy gets mad about it, you got Aaron, whatever his name was. Aaron. Signature. Jones. They look and they go, oh, and they pulled up to a light. And they go, ah. Pulled up to like, this looks, this looks notarized. Yeah. You're a certified N-word guy. Yeah, and then so me and uh, Eminem. You're a certified boop, beep. Dude, I didn't know, um, I'm trailing off, but I didn't know Logic was half black, a rapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know until I, I first started listening to some of his stuff. One of the songs, he just said it, and uh, I went, what? Isn't he white? He just looks like a white dude. It's racist, Chris. You have to assume every white guy might be half black. Yeah. Like me. Just kidding. How long have so many, I'm like... I'm than a white guy. So many boomers are like, I'm 15% Native American. I'm I got Cherokee. 10% Cherokee Indian. I can go to college for free. Look, I grew up and my mom had all those little Indian little dolls with those feathered little I grew up pants. having sex with my mom. And she performed witch- witchcraft on she me. She performed witchcraft so I'd have sex with her more. And the witch stuff, that comes from Native Americans. And that makes me a Native American. Um, no, so <laughs> I was saying that I brought up the Aaron dude telling me to say the N-word um, because I uh, have so many, like, I got my brain checked out, and I'm, like, so, I'm, like, very fortunate, very fortunate that I uh, am not uh, more fucked up. Sometimes I stutter words or I slur and stuff, but... You guys can see. Yeah, you guys know. You've heard it. You've heard me talk. Um, I've listened back, and I'm like, what? Um, what the hell? But... I almost have like alcohol fetal syndrome, so I'm right there. You can say it. I was giving Corey the card. I was giving Corey the notarized paperwork. And that's why. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, I've never. The Simpsons have been a show for so long, and I just never got into it. Yeah. I only say that because it's all commercial. TV's on, everybody. Yeah, yeah we had the Falcons. So we've been a good... On. We've been good. good yeah, not we've been doing good, good, not staring at... Well, I keep... I just normally look this way. So mm-hmm. they, uh... Oh, um, hey. So, look. So, since I was thinking about Beater on the Bush, uh, oh, and then yeah. I thought about the squeaky wheel gets the uh, cock, um, I was thinking about those, and... Uh, squeaky pussy gets the lubed cock. There you go. And then... Squeaky... Animal gets the tree. Gets the shotgun. Gets, yeah. Where the fuck that motherfucker at? <laughs> <laughs> Where did the? God damn it! Um. So yeah, that's where you get. That'd be a good for. The, I'll make a supercut and that'll be in there. Yeah. yeah. Here's a supercut. Um. Uh. This is from. Uh. Like Finland, like no Norwegian people, they would Uh-oh. say, "What are we doing? Uh, walk around in hot porridge." Like they don't know what no, they're talking about. It's almost the same thing as like what yeah, does that they mean? What they're talking about. First off, porridge. First of all, <laughs> what are we poor? First of all, what are what are we bears? The <laughs> bears eating the porridge. I have another issue with that. I was actually, hot. It makes me think of women, and I get horny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll cut you off. Yeah, the bear. You know that 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 the, the uh, little the Red Riding Hood where she goes, and then there's the three bears, and it was like, oh, they all had porridge. And she's like, what? Oh, this porridge is too hot. This porridge is too cold, and this porridge is just right. First of all, if it was all cooked at the same time and sitting there, it would all be the same. No. Yeah, they get I'm three pissed. Three catering services that come to this house. Yeah, we they get fr- so then that means the bear. Where are the bears? Where are, they- are the three different wives First of at all, this place? We're serving it up. Where are the bears? 
they one of them poured a nice hot bowl of porridge and then left where did they go she had long enough time to eat porridge and take a nap and then the bears came back what a weird story yeah but then the <laughs> the whole it hinges on the porridge who pours who has porridge who has hot porridge in a bowl and leaves the house <laughs> yeah like freshly hot because the kid just woke up right or went to it or whatever and yeah, she's just walking down Stumbled. the street or walk, just walk into no, a house? Wait. Yeah, they're just walking. She walked into a house. She didn't get killed? Oh. She didn't get killed? Arbery was killed. He yeah, walked into well, a house. Yeah, she's white. And then he was cha- Oh. There you she's go. She's a white woman. I didn't think about it. Listen here. I understand. There you go. You We're about it. to get real here, everybody. I, I understand I to, women's rights is a real thing. I'm not going to. You know what I mean? But if a white woman. Ran into a building with 47 shotguns. The police would probably try to have sex with her first. I don't know. They would. They would go. Hold on. Where did you get all those shotguns from? Huh. She probably doesn't even know how to shoot them because she's a stupid bitch. <laughs> That's probably what they would say. And then everyone dies because she. Knows they would actually probably probably try to. I feel like the type. No, nah, never mind. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm, when you, when just, I'm rambling were, here, guys. When you were rambling about the porridge oh, sorry. So with the bears. The nah, I'll get back to that. Oh, okay. The porridge with the bears. How about, um, so all three of these bowls were just there? Yeah, I guess. So. That's what I'm saying. What, uh, were they leftovers? Was there, just if before she. they were she, leftovers. Hold on, though. No. Before she went in, was, was it like the bears or whatever the hell? Did they, uh, did someone like. Go to heat it up. They just, like, because it's leftovers. They heat one up to 140. That one goes really hot. And then they just, what, they just change the time? They, the yeah, one's, at, one's at 20 seconds? Yeah, and then the other one's... And the other one's perfectly at 53? And then the other one's not microbe yet because it's too cold. Oh, I thought maybe... Oh, okay, so now... was a little bit microbe. So then they left that half done. Yeah, I got, and then where'd they go? How about this? They pulled where the did three they go? bowls of leftover out. And then, uh, never got to one. The second one was the, the the middle one. The I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm already over this. But I just, she goes to sleep. That yeah. means they left their house long enough to where she can eat a full meal and then go to sleep in their beds. So why would they heat up food if they were going to leave long enough for them to leave? Yeah. Clear the house and then some sense. stupid dumb cunt comes in. I'm going to eat all this food that isn't mine and sleep in a bed that's not mine. Maybe First they, of all. This stupid bitch is out of control, and someone should call the cops on her. Yeah, she should be eradicated. Right, those bears, rightfully so, should eat her. Uh, and yeah, that's when the guy. That no, should be the Riding Hood is the wolf, right? Yeah, that's the wolf. The big. What's the Granny, wolf? You Where's got big gr- shoes. Yeah, what's I'm the girl? a wolf, bitch. Where's the girl at the Granny. porridge? What's her name? Uh, Tanya. Clarice. Tanya. Clarice. Tanya is not a name in any child's book. Hello, Clarice. Children's book. What if that guy? Clarice. Hello, Clarice. I can't do that. Not that good. Sometimes I can do it, though. Um, I'm Dr. Tassahoe. Hey, I'm Tayshaun I'm Tayshaun Bell. Bell. And I'm, I'm... Trump ignored me. Oh, okay. We're all bold. I'm just reading the commercial here. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, Norwegian saying... Uh, oh, yeah. That, that They pretty much say it like, don't beat around a bush. Like, just tell me... So like, so what are they don't saying? walk around in hot porridge. <laughs> don't walk around in hot porridge and tell me what you want to tell me. Yeah, and then uh, sometimes they would add a cat in it. So they'd say, don't walk around in hot porridge like a cat. What? Where have you heard this? I was just reading it online, like oh saying. Oh my god. I was like looking at a different thing, and then just saw that, and was like, that's goofy. Hmm. Why do they have a Finnish saying in here? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's a, there's also a Russian one. Uh, hang noodles on someone's ears. What? Basi- basically, like, uh, what I mean, don't fool or bullshit someone. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Now, now don't hang. So just, if I, I we would just make Southerners, I would go there and be like, sayings. so don't don't bullshit a bullshitter, and they would be like, what? And I would be like, oh, sorry. 
don't hang noodles on my ears. And <laughs> yeah. they'd be like, oh, there we go. I get it. Uh, I get it. Don't hang. Hey, don't put noodles on my nose. Hey. Like, oh, this person's funny. They changed it to a different body part. Hey, man. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, don't you do it. Check, check, one, two, nine. Check, 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 check. My butt in the store. Dude. Uh, what had, you, what you got for me, baby? I had something. What you got for me, baby, Fuck. dude? Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, today, dude, this guy. Oh, my today. God. So we were walking today, me and these two other guys that I work with. Yep. And this guy walks up to him. He's like a pilot or something. And he's like, oh, thanks, guys. I don't know why I said thanks to us. And then we're yeah. like, oh, yeah, thanks, man, whatever. Get away from us, old man. And then he started just telling us jokes. Like, street jokes. Like he basically was like, "Hey, uh, he's uh, like, you know what? Where did, where did the burger? This is, this is right after yes. he said, "Hey guys, like, where did the burger? Name his daughter." And we were like, "I don't know." And he's like, "Patty," and then we like, uh, we laughed at all of them because we're like, you know, yeah, I don't know what else to do. And he's like, "Where did the? How did the tomato fix itself?" And we're like, I don't know. Tomato paste. And his laugh was weird, but at so the it was like the first one, the second one, and we were like, okay, and then the third one happened, and we were like. Oh boy, he said like eleven of them as we we're like walking, and we were like, "This Get is yeah, this is." He said, "What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef." What do you call a cow with only two legs? Lean beef or whatever, or lean meat yeah, or whatever. Right. Yeah, and we're like Jesus Christ, man. That and, is great. And then somehow we got we ditched him. We were like, "Get out of here!" And then we were like. Ran away. But he, oh yeah, he told us that he, he, he's like on my dumb phone, and he pulled out this flip phone, called it his dumb phone. Yeah. And he's, I got a dumb phone. You guys got them smartphones. That's another joke. Yeah. And then he said, I get all the, I get these, I get these dad jokes. I get one a day. I pay. He like pays like money to get these jokes every day. Like he pays like a, it's like an app, and he pays (laughs) every like money. I'm shocked. Dude, it was Dude, crazy. He was like an old uh, guy, too. Why haven't we just made some dumb app so simple? And then, I mean, so many people have. Yeah, that, I've, heard, I've heard stories of, like... This person has a joke app. I've heard stories of, like, uh, on Jeez. podcasts, like... Like a musician. Or someone like, oh, yeah, uh, uh, I still have this app. I forgot who it was. Someone was talking about having an app up. Like, some bullcrap app. Oh, yeah. I forgot who it was, but it just gives you captions. So basically, he made an app that you put your picture into it, and there's not really like a great algorithm to it, yeah. and it just will give you a different caption for your thing, like kind of related. But like, he doesn't have some crazy Spotify algorithm, so it, I'm pretty sure it's like what 12 captions, and it just fucking randomly picks one. And people, he's made some money on it. That's true. And it's just an app that's still out somewhere, and then, so yeah. there's so many of those that people have done for like college uh, assignments or whatever. That's what crazy, you know. That's pretty should've, sick. Should have done one, dude. Should have made an app. Should be should be rich, rich and famous. And then I could be in the one percent. And then I could be like, ah, I don't care who gets voted in because either way, I'm not I'm not affected. Either way, I'm a one percenter. I can either just give way, someone a shit ton of money. Either way, I don't want to pay more taxes because I'm a rich bitch. Ranch bitch. I'm a rich motherfucker. Uh, oh boy. Did you hear that they found, I guess, some H2O on the moon? Whoa! Yeah. I'm moving to the moon. Three weeks, baby. I'm out of here. That H2O is going to be my pool. Um, yeah, they found it. The Wallace and Gromit were up there just on floaties, just uh, at the eating boys. some cheese. Wallace and Gromit. You ever so that? they found it? That's sweet. They, well, they... They always knew. They've been up there. Uh, living, were they up there living the dream. Being gay. Having gay sex. Yeah. They, were like, they got an underground... Uh, gay sex dungeon. Gay sex dungeon. Down um, there. That'd be the ultimate underground base. You're underground, but you're underground on the moon. So it was like a space oh, yeah. underground it base. It discovers water. And so it's... Uh, I don't know. Whoa, we did it, boys. Hey, <laughs> We're moving to the moon. Welcome to the moon. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm John Wilkins, and welcome to the moon. 
I was the first guy to move here. I I don't know, man. They've been so they've been so up and down with stuff like uh, yeah, Mercury might have this or Mars might have that, and then they don't know. They run some tests and they're like, yeah, everything broke. We didn't even get the test in. <laughs> like everything broke when we sent it out there. Nah, we forgot. All the monkeys died, and then uh, stupid monkeys. But they're saying there's I don't know. Are they even right? Like, for, I bet you years from now, they'll be like, ah, oh, that water that we thought we thought was water it was a different element called blah, blah, blah. Called fucking schmorter. Don't you think it's possible that there's more elements? Like, they have the element table. Oh, yeah, the, the periodic table of elements. Periodic table of elements. They're just I mean, trying like to it. piss off kids trying to learn about it. Just put extra words yeah, up haven't there. They like, it could just be element Haven't they table. added elements to that? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It just seems like something that I'm like, you could, I mean, we're on, only on this planet. I'm sure if you fuck around on a couple other planets. Yeah, I'm sure if you just go somewhere else. Yeah. Dude, I don't know enough about anything to get involved in that. Well, we can ask questions because uh, maybe we'll talk some shit. And it's, well, we can ask questions you know? about that. We just can't ask questions about trans people. Yeah. I can ask my brother. It's true. And uh, he would just tell me because anything i've ever asked he's, he's been like, like oh no that's chris it. let me tell you first of all get first, your brain fixed first of all we all go by z no, i'm kidding but first of all does. chris we don't have genders whoa i guess people are trying to like signal to that they're like an ally when they have in their bio yeah like I'm, she I'm her a, she or her and him but when i see that i'm like he, him or dude, that's like like when I first when we first made a MySpace in two thousand four or whatever, we would put you know a lot of people would put in their bio like I play basketball, I rollerblade, and Dragon Ball Z or whatever. I Pokemon play basketball cards. and I like Dragon Ball Z and I'm a guy <clears throat> and I you just throw it in there and I like race cars. Even on yeah yeah and AOL too or any of these things you'd put like your age your age and your twenty three. I like to go. Twenty three. I like. I'm twenty three. I like the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm twenty three. Well, I need to find like, you. Where are you at? I'm twenty three. I like him young. Um, and I'm a guy. So. Dude, that that clip. I don't know if you've seen it on your mom's house. Um, where he's got a. It's like this big, like, fat, bald trucker guy, and he's like. Hi, my queen's above 18. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was pretty good. Well, he's making sure, man. Dude, how creepy. Hey, everybody, making sure you're above 18. Yeah, he's just trying to make oh. sure he's not going to get in any legal trouble. Yeah, clearly something happened before he started doing that he got in all his videos. No, no. Uh, maybe. Or maybe he knows the how the world is right now, and he's like, I got to make sure that all these people are... Uh, Cause have you seen TikTok lately? It's like a fucking. Have you seen TikTok lately? Oh yeah, dude. TikTok. Got my TikTok shirt on. Tickety tock. Tickety tock. Tickety tock. Suck on my cock, dude. Chicken. Got it. You got it, dude. Um, what a great. They should put that in their commercials. You know they got all the, you know the Fleetwood Mac guy. He's like, <laughs> Wait, what commercial? The the TikTok commercials. There's a TikTok commercial. There's a hundred of them. There's a commercial. Yeah. Where do I see? Oh, like, cause it isn't just a TikTok. They, prim- they play TikTok. Yeah, they just they advertise TikTok. So what you just yeah. did, I'll make a quick TikTok, throw it up on the thing, so and be then... like, tickety tock, suck on that cock. Yeah, and, and they'll throw you on there. They'll be like, dude, we're gonna put you on every fucking streaming service from here from here to Timbuktu. Certain. TikToks. What if someone lived right next door to Timbuktu, and then they were like, Hey man, I fucking I've I've had sex with every girl from here to Timbuktu. We're across the street. And now I haven't had sex with anybody but her. And then it's just some girl who lives on the... Is that a real the... place? Yeah. I don't even know. Ten buck two? Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> we got to Google it now. Uh, everyone's mad at me? No? Yeah. Fuck them. The tweets are rolling in. Um, Chris has canceled it because he doesn't know what ten buck two is. Oh. Ten buck two. Ten buck two. Yeah, City in Mali? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, but you ever... Uh, you hear the? You ever hear that? Or like when they go, where? Hey, where'd you park the car? Yeah, out in the fucking boonies. Yeah, out in the boonies. Out in the boonies. Oh, guess what? Hey, 
<laughs> Guess what? 20 spaces over there is not boonies. Yeah. yeah. In front of the Kroger is not a boonies, you fucking twat. Also, boonies. Anyway, back to my Timbuktu. Hey, uh, me and, man, I, I fucking, I've, I've taken a shit that's the longer distance from here to Timbuktu. Boonies is just short for boondocks. Yeah, the the boondocks. I'm over I, there. In I the parked boon- over there by the boondocks. Hey, I parked over there in the boondocks. Hey, man, boondocks is a. We don't say that anymore. Now we're all saying boonies. It's yeah, all hey, the cool kids are saying cooler it. Cooler to say boonies. Out in the boondocks. Hey, I, I was killing them boobs out in the boonies. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where does Jerry live? He lives out in the boonies. I don't know where that is. I need an address. Everyone has GPS now, motherfucker. I typed in boonies in Google Maps and nothing comes up. Uh, hey. I also heard that uh, um, if you're ever like changing in your house. Nice. And you have your windows open. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd be honest. Nice. Because you're in, people like hearing yawns because then they're like, oh, yeah, that's five percent. Uh. Oh, really? Let's say, go to sleep. Everybody, everybody go to sleep. Think about how your day is going. Think about my looped up penis. Now it will just slide right through your breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday is nothing. Tomorrow is something. But right now, you're asleep. <laughs> and my cock is in your breasts. <laughs> Uh, I didn't hear that. Close your eyes. Everybody, now picture my penis getting closer to your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Uh, <laughs> now open your eyes. My penis is... Now open them. My penis is right there. <laughs> All right. Now what you're picturing is only in your imagination. Now what you're picturing nowhere else. What you're picturing is my penis is getting closer and closer. Just so everyone feels better about this, this is Corey to me. Huh? How about that? No, I don't want you to feel better about this. <laughs> this is me to my cat. This right? is me to my grandma. Oh, hey. you're gonna get mad at that? They're both dead. So. Hey, Granny. Open your eyes. Hey, dead granny. Open your mouth. (laughs) Uh, Crazy. Chris, your cats are stupid. How much time have we done? Uh, you know, we're 43. What? You know, we can do like 15 more. That seems seems like it flew by. Flew by by the seat of your pants. Hey. He flew flew by by the seat of your pants. That's another thing. This is what I say. Things fly by when you're having fun. And you're having fun when you're saying retard. Put that on a shirt because that's not yeah. enough word. That's more. That's you know. Here's a word for you. Beep. <laughs> Beep. Uh, I think that was. Oh yeah, I was getting at a different thing. Uh, like I didn't know. I always thought it would. I thought it was bad. I thought it was against the law if you have the windows open. <laughs> if you have a kid. If you have the windows open, and oh yeah, oh and you're just naked, and you're just naked, but I don't think so. But technically, it's just not. Yeah, you're in your own house, and uh, I mean, you could literally be just fucking somebody right in front of the window. I know what I'm doing. I'm getting home, and so like a kid could be out there going, "Ma, ah, what's going on?" And then she'd be like, "That's you know, that's what Daddy was trying to show you when you walked in in our bedroom <laughs> last night." <laughs> uh, Weird. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not. Why do I say that? Why do I do that? Because you are sorry. Because we don't want anyone to be hurt. Yeah. But also, I want everyone to have fun. Get loosey-goosey and say, boop. Just kidding. Do not say that. You don't know what I said because it was bleeped out by the Did you finish the whole uh, Alex Jones pod? Oh, no. Tim Dillon? I had to take a break and then I never got back into it. Yeah, it's a little wild. It's, 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 It's a lot. It was very interesting that certain things like... Uh, I had one of my brother's uh, buddies uh, texted us, and he's like, he goes, dude, why is 
why is Rogan like fact checking like everything uh, Alex Jones is saying? Like, I think it's getting a little ridiculous because they keep it's so funny too because we have we have left friends and I already know like they're turning it off right now. Oh yeah, well I'm not talking about this. I'm talking know, about I'm talking about this. Left people that <laughs> yeah. left people that would hear about like a left friend of ours that would hear about like that Rogan episode. He had that uh, Alex Jones guy on like. You'd get like they were they're getting upset so much they just think like oh he's on there and he's pushing white nationalism and all this like fucked up stuff and I listened to it and I've listened to all the other ones and yeah. I didn't hear any of that yeah <laughs> none of that stuff was happening at least on the pods I listened to they weren't just going guys white people are the only ones yeah everyone else Rogan is under what, us. wouldn't you agree Rogan and then Rogan goes hey man I only root for the white fighters and, yeah. and the leagues and all the things if you no, noticed none of that stuff is happening. So it's just funny to be – to feel pretty, like, cl- wit. I feel like a little guy. I'm a little baby. I'm a little guy. I feel, like, very centered because I'll have friends or I see friends like tweets or retweet through things or anything. Or I'll just see left Twitter um, saying certain things about, like, oh, you know, Alex Jones shouldn't be – you know, Rogan shouldn't be given him the platform and stuff. And, and then it's funny because they're th- – a bunch of left people are saying it shouldn't even be happening. And then I got my brother's buddies, like guys I would play basketball with, that are like, I think Rogan, like Spotify is like trying to make Rogan get a little censored. Like he's trying to fact check everything by Alex Jones. I think he's a little too afraid of the image of like letting any anything lo- loose and fly. And I'm like, well, no, Alex Jones. just, just he, like let – because it's not Alex Jones. It's not. Spotify didn't influence that. Rogan, Al, Rogan, and Alex Jones isn't two comedians just joking around. Alex Jones is just spouting off yeah. things to him that are facts, and whether has, whether it is a fact or not. He, Rogan's like, let's make sure. Yeah. Because you he's just, saying it like it's right. So just because you say it like it's right, he. That's why you have to go. Let's make sure it's right. If it's just me going, dude, fucking pigs come walking down the street and f- and fuck me. And I was on a rope pod with Rogan, and he was like, hold on, hold on Jamie, hold on. can you look that up? Do pigs do that? Like he went. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm joking. That's why you fact check when people. I don't know. Yeah, so Alex Jones is technically always, like, for the most part, pretty (laughs) serious about his stuff. Um, he uh, so he, you know, because on I think the pod before this one, last time Alex Jones was on, he would he does this thing where he just rambles and talks too fast. He tried Uh, to explain. I was like, he tried to explain it to Rogan. He was like, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just he's like, I got I got so much info in here. Like, look at this. Got the documents. Like he's yeah. got all his paperwork. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, I saw, I saw a clip where Tim Dillon goes, We got the documents, Rogan! Yeah. And he's just like, what? Yeah. That was and, pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Openly making fun of him, and he gets a joke, and he's not butthurt about it. But Alex, Alex Jones, on another episode before, was, just went, he, he was rambling off stuff, and in there, he said something about, like, politicians eating kids, or something just so crazy. And then another time he said something so insane about Hillary. And both times on that pod even, Rogan was like, hold on. And he wouldn't stop talking. Yeah. And Rogan was like, we can't skim over that like a politician has eaten kids. <laughs> and then you just keep rattling off things that are true. Other things might be true yeah. and make sense. But in the middle of all the nonsense, you, you rattled just... off this politician eats kids. And then so now like. You can have listeners. You can have me. You can have other people going. Oh my God, John Mayer uh, <laughs> eats kids, or whatever yeah. the guy. John Smith. This guy eats kids, and uh, so that's Mayer. the whole thing. Rogan's like, you can't. I said Mayer because it's like a mayor, and then it just <laughs> that was a guy though. Yeah, but it's a guy. Um, what if John Mayer became the mayor of something? He should be. Here's your new mayor, John. He Mayer. can be the mayor of my ass. How many girls, that. you know? Is he is he oh, yeah. is he a desirable guy to women? Uh, Taylor Swift dated him, right? So if Taylor Swift date <laughs> Taylor Swift dates somebody, all these women love her that much. They just it doesn't matter who she would date. Dates anybody for like a minute. Yeah. Has a picture with somebody. They're like, oh, I I see it too. He's hot. I want I want to be with yeah. him. Yeah. He, he can, also makes. Good music. He can be the mayor of my fucking pussy. He can mayor this ass. Uh, <laughs> mayor this ass, dude. Mayor my ass. No, so Rogan was just. So I said that to my uh, my brother's buddy. I was just like, no, he just 
Alex Jones is rattled off stuff. He he's he's also trying to show people that. Well, he also he's is not, trying to give. I mean, I I I do I would I do believe that he is trying to like give out like information that nobody else talks about. But then like he just mixes in his other bullshit, yeah. and people just go, "What the fuck is wrong with this guy?" Yeah. So R- Rogan also wanted to sh- be like, "Hey guys, this is real." Yeah. Look at the article in CNN. Uh, what the fuck was it? It was something I shared with you guys that uh. Oh, what the? Fuck? I don't know. Uh, it was just one of the things. But there's a bunch of things that he he has said. People just think that's nonsense. Oh my god. Like, oh, it was the so um, gave so many money. Yeah, it was the uh the corona, the eighty percent of vac. Something about the vaccines uh, and eighty percent. I was thinking of a different thing, but th- but he did have that post. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking of one I shared with you guys that uh, it was just showing like corrupt stuff with the DNC and stuff because yeah, and it was a CNN and they, they're like so if it wasn't posted by CNN, then the left people would go, oh, well, that's fake news. And yeah. People would do that all over. Yep. Left and right, you go, you look and you go, well, that that thing's not credible. And then you go, well, I'm not reading that. The headline's, uh, that's clickbait or whatever. And it's like, no, this is a real thing. Uh, there's a bunch of corruption. And well. It's shocking that it was even still on the CNN thing. This is the last political thing I'm going to say. Do you think, I don't know. If you think either of the two parties give one ounce of shit that happens to us as you know, the normal, the, the peasants of the world, of the country, then you're insane. I don't know. I just feel like, yeah. you know what? We're not going to get into this. Guess what? I started running lately. Dude, that's stupid. I know it is If dumb. I started running, my knee would explode. Surprisingly, I feel okay. Yeah, I walk a lot at work. I'm like an old granny that's walking the, the mall. I start running, and then I run a little too hard. I don't like pace well. I run and a I little too hard. Splints. I run a little too hard, and then I go, oh, I gotta stop. So then I stop, and then I'm walking, and uh, just always broken up. I'm like, man, I need to be able run to just run. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah, <clears throat> I need to be more. Yeah. But I was trying to just do something, you know. Feeling weird because I, I can't play basketball anywhere. Um, some places like jujitsu have opened back up, but I don't think, um. So I don't think some people want me doing that, and I'd be shamed and stuff. But like uh, white nationalists don't want you doing that. Yeah, the white nationalists would shame me. Chris is very tight with them. Yep. Like, I'm trying to get in there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to crack that group, man. <laughs> I just. I can't get in there. They're like you don't hate black people enough. And come on, man. I just need to be a part of something. Come on, look. When I started Dynasty, in uh. In the NBA 2K. Just let me in the fantasy league. Look, I check yeah. Let me in the White Nationalist Fantasy League. Oh boy. I always trade for Luke Kennard and Cooper Cup. Uh, well, it's two different sports. Oh, you're doing that. Uh, I was doing basketball. basketball. Uh, it's a guy, a good shooter from Duke. He's on the Sixers and some other places. You've got his name. He's got a good podcast actually. I think I have him. Uh, listen to much of it. Steve Nash is what? Steve Nash. He's coaching the new uh the Brooklyn <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets, baby. Luca. Luca Dantage. Do I sound nasally? Um, maybe. I don't My know. nose started just like. I think it's because I'm running. I'm running outside. It's like 40 degrees. Yeah, get in the house, goddammit. it. Get in the house. Get your fucking ass in the house. I, we didn't even say it. this is episode twenty. <laughs> this is episode twenty. You Usually little, I say that. You little bitches. In the beginning. Hey bitches. So how's this for an idea? A store where you only sell cats. Cats. To Chinese restaurants to keep the rats and mice away. Yeah, because there's so That's many. That's what we tell the IRS. When's the last time you had Chinese? It's been a while. Maybe I'm kind of in between Chinese places right now. 
I need to get them. Because the one place no, we're just talking about food. Jen doesn't really like. And then so I'm like, okay, we we'll gotta find a new one. Drops, I'm actually like very that. hungry at this moment, so Ooh, yeah, I'm probably gonna, gonna get? get some after Ooh, here. After I do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna get me some. It's freaking it's late, dude. It is late. What how much time have we done? Fifty five. Twenty nine to fifty five. I don't know. Maybe we could probably cut it. Maybe. Unless we got anything else. No, I, I mean really we got nothing else. Uh I rate, rate and review if you again. can. Rate and review if you can. The three hours we tried rate and yeah. review. Yeah. Um, um Don't tell anybody that rate was and review and send me pictures of your ass. Uh hey everybody. Just make sure that you're nice to the people you interact with in life. Yeah. Make sure you interact. Yeah, the people you see, you know, treat Say them nice things to them. Treat them as if they were you. Treat them as if they were the person you loved most. And if you don't love anybody, then kill yourself. Then picture somebody that you would love. Kill yourself. And then kill yourself. Oh. Some people are like, they'll say, uh, no, treat people. Well, we, here we treat you like family. It's like, well, some people huh. have a. Uh, well, don't give a fuck about their family. My uncle raped me, so. Well, I was abandoned. A hot chick says to you, "Hey, I treat. I'll treat you like family," and you're like, "Sweet, I'm gonna have sex with her." Wait, what? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say it out loud. Here we treat you like family. Are you gonna bang me in my ass? Here we what? treat you like family. What? I get to fuck you? <laughs> Sarah, your your table's ready. <laughs> no, she said I get to fuck her. Hey, we're gonna fuck, okay? Hey. Sir, sir we're calling the police. I'm gonna say... I'll get back to you later. I'm gonna go eat food at this Mexican Gardens. Dude, I don't want that. Well, it's closed. COVID. Everything's closed again. Germany and Spain or something. It's, it's Italy's places. closing. I thought... Someone said Italy's closing again for like four weeks. Uh, that America is not going to do that. No. Nope. Oh no, there's no way. So I guess we're just going to see if the number just goes. I guess what America. I guess what also America is not going to do. Give Vote. us any more aid, like stimulus checks and all that. That sucks. But hey, whatever. You know, it's hard. It's hard to get stuff done when you're concentrating on, you know, appointing a supreme judge, court, supreme okay. court justice. But hey, oh you know what do I know? That's probably easy. Yeah, check out Jimmy Dore. You know. All right, bye guys. Love you. Check out my cock too. It's really big. Jimmy. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's small. Maybe it's huge. Uh, yeah. Yeah.